right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, a lot of opinions out there lately, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. This stuff is good for me. It's nice, it's juicy, and it means it, it really means to me that people care when the community is up in arms about something, and we talking about it, and people have differing opinions. That's a good thing to me because that means that the game is actually viable. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? We got some stuff that people want to talk about and people are passionate about their views, man. So I ain't got no problem with it when people are doing that, man. Um, one thing I want to do is, uh, like like I said, we got Power Up. We got Laker Fan. We got Dime Work chiming in on stuff. We got some ridiculous stuff. We got the, the, the Wads plug. You know what I'm talking about? He talking about stuff. Even Jay Easy talking about stuff. Man, we got a whole bunch for y'all today, man. So if you don't do nothing else, make sure y'all like the video. Because liking the video helps us get to that oh so coveted 100k and without further ado let's get the video underway listen man um first before we get to that like i said man helping us get to that 100,000, it's only 45 percent of you guys that are subscribed to the channel right now that are watching make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and we can hit that 100k for christmas that's what we going for 100k for christmas man we've been growing at a good rate and so i just want to keep that steam going man but uh also i want to keep these videos pretty short man so uh first up man we got your boy power df he gonna be a staple man he he's somebody that's talking in the community he's somebody that's recognizable so he gonna be in almost every video man he says i get where some people are coming from when they say uh they like the level system but i think that we're missing the bigger picture 2k needs to reward players who play more uh that that encourages casuals to play the game more 2k now is uh 2k is now a good casual game but it's missing the grind factor i can agree with that and then he also says i'll tell my own story for example i had never played online video games before cod i mean before not cod not gta not fortnite not nothing fortnite went out back then but i understand what you're saying but because of the 2k 15 rep system and the grind to legend 3 uh the legend 3 yeah i played 2k that entire year the rep grind turned uh turned me from a casual into a uh, to a 2k gamer and i can understand that man you know what i'm saying and one person says yeah people better not say uh say grind bills because that's really not a not long-term grind no nor is it fun it's not fun um it's not fun to grind bills let's be honest it's fun when you get your bill maxed out and grind okay so they don't have nothing to do with that only thing that power is saying is that that even though he was a casual at that point in time the grind of 2k 15 is what turned him on and having something to push for throughout the year and trying to meet a goal and all of that good stuff that's what turned him on and that's what got him there but i would also and i can understand that because that's what keeps me going through the year on most 2ks and stuff too i keep playing because i want to try to get you know to elite three or i'm not i'm, I'm hardly ever gonna get the legend this will be the first year i hit legend but i um i don't play the game enough and i'm, I'm gonna tell y'all about that later on in the video but uh, so that the grind almost also turns a lot of people off like because a lot more people can get to the the level 40 they're gonna keep playing the game until they get to level 40 and you'll have more people playing the game spread out uh over the year trust me they already see this because they got their numbers and they, they they see what's going on so they see that more people are playing but they're just in different game modes that three on three market man a lot of people are in there the parks might not be as packed and people might not be looking for videos as much just because because they're looking for more news videos and stuff like that than the tutorials because it's really easy to progress in the game and stuff like that but at the same time I, I, I just feel like the grind the big grind would turn some people off because they'd be like man I ain't gonna hit legend so it really don't even matter like that's how some people would look at it sometimes so um like I would not prioritize it but I would play the game you understand what I'm saying so they so the same grind that turns you on might turn some people off that's why I like the level uh the 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 season pass or the season system but i also feel like that season system does need to be in conjunction with some type of perpetual grind i said it with um i said it when they had 2k 18 where you go from zero to nine well, you know when you go to the grind to 99 i felt like there needed to be some type of perpetual grind in the background uh for that i said it with 2k 19 uh they brought it back regular legend in 2k 20 and you see how that went 21 was 21 was a little bit of a because everybody just just you know they had their own opinions about the game but yo it was what it was uh but i i think that nobody can really deny that with the legend grind in the game with that perpetual grind uh underlying everything that it might be a little bit better so it's just like it's just like when you max your player around and you playing against somebody that's an 80 you've grinded your player out so you know you're gonna be a little bit better and all of that so uh 
maybe they can do something like that where the legend grind actually impacts your player or something like that. I know this is just, just spitballing and throwing stuff at the wall. And then, you know, the season grind is just so you can get some of those prizes. Because some people just want to get some of the prizes. They know they're not going to make it to legend. They don't care to make it to legend. Um, and so that's what they want to do. So maybe they could do something like that. But I do see your point. Maybe you got to get to 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 uh, level 44 seasons and get to Elite 3. And that would be something good. I think that will be something that's a good compromise. Up next, Laker fan, my boy. That he says all this negativity is weighing me down, bruh. I, 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 I am. I mean, I'm gonna keep playing this 2K. Uh, to keep playing this 2K as long as I'm enjoying it. That's what everybody should do. And I don't see leaving anytime soon. I don't either. I don't know why people always want to be like, I'm going to IRA. You got to get there first. Uh, I swear, I'm gonna change the YouTube game up. Big series starting very soon. And hey, that's how you got to do it, man. Like some people. Sometimes when we play games, we forget that the game's supposed to be fun and it's supposed to be enjoyable. I play this game to have fun and to enjoy. The way that I have fun with the game may not be the way that you have fun with the game. The way that you have fun with the game may not be the way that I have fun with the game. But that doesn't mean that either one of us are wrong. Neither one of us is wrong. We can play the game however we want to. The one thing that I do disagree with with everybody is they, they think you're supposed to be able to play the game the way that you want to and be able to win, just like in Call of Duty. The way I like to play, I like to rush. So when I rush, I can play the game any way I want to, but that doesn't mean I'm going to win playing how I want to. So I'll be rushing, rushing, rushing and dying over and over. I just got to accept that this game right here, it may not be something that I can play like that. And that's what you have to do You know, when you play anything. So if you're not enjoying the game, then by all means leave. But if you're enjoying it, like I say, this is what I say. I'm enjoying this game just like I jo enjoyed 21. Everybody was like, yo, y'all y'all playing this game, blah, 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 this and that. Bro, we are enjoying the game. We're genuinely enjoying Next Gen. I loved that game. I'm not going to lie. Shoot, I ain't going to lie to y'all. At this point right here, at lunch, I like 22 Next Gen better than I like 21 next gen but right now I, I think I like 21 next gen better than I like 22 next gen because we had interior on our players we we could get bumps and stops and stuff like that on the perimeter and all that good stuff man so to me 21 next gen was dope to me I, I enjoyed it but we also played 21 current gen and beat everybody and probably lost one game in like eight weeks and stuff like that so it really didn't matter to us we just play basketball man we adapt and we overcome uh you know what I'm saying just just play the game like that you don't get to play the game the way that you want to and be successful. You can play it any way you want to, and maybe sometimes you're going to win, but you're not going to just be successful just playing it how you want to. You, you're just going to have to... I, I, I don't know, man. But like I said, if you're not enjoying it, don't play it. But I'm enjoying it, so I'm playing it. So keep doing your thing like a fan, man. That's all I can tell you on that. Up next, my boy Dime Work. Your boy Dime Work says, I really enjoy the chance of trying to win with randoms. But with some of these dudes, it's literally 100% impossible. I can play perfect and still lose. That's the nature of playing with randoms. And right there, that's what he's saying. That, that's that's to my point. The way that he and Dime work enjoys the game is playing with randoms. A lot of us don't enjoy playing with randoms. I enjoy playing with randoms. But, hey, you know, win percentage be damned sometimes. So I, I, I don't care about that. I like to play the game. I like to play the game with randoms. Raging with randoms is one of my best series that everybody also always loved on the channel and all that good stuff, right? But what would end up happening is like like on 2k this 2k thing you get you play with a lot of randoms you get a low win percentage then people think you trash and then they play it's like dang man you actually really good but you got a 60 win percent yes i play with randoms all the time everybody say they play with randoms but i used to play with randoms all the time if y'all was in my streams on 16 17 18 all that bro that's all i ever played with was randoms so you know it was what it was but like like i said he knows that I can play with randoms, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to be successful every time I play with them because I can do everything the right way and we can still lose the game. Like, that's just how it is when you're playing with randoms. So unless you have a team, even when you got a team, you can do everything right and still lose. So why do you think you're going to win, you know what I'm saying, when you're playing with randoms, man? But like that's why I say I love down work because he's saying, hey, this is what I like to do. And I understand the pitfalls of what I like to do. Sometimes I'm going to win, sometimes I'm going to lose. But guess what? I'm going to keep playing because this is what I like to do. But it's genuinely a good time playing with him. That's the main thing right there. But he understands that he can't just do what he wants to and still be winning games, man. So that's what I'll be trying to tell y'all, man. Up next, you got Bash Plug saying, biggest issue with 2K right now, OG Grandmaster Sensei, a.k.a. Swante says, quick stops are slower uh, randomly, it makes you shoot delayed after the patch. If you uh, if you're not at the top of the key, 
it's it's like a pause when you dribble on the wing. And a lot of people said that. Some people said thought it was just me. We got uh, a couple people says the the level forty system. Uh, you're right. You're you're right. Like the two cat nineteen. Let me say didn't know. Let me see. You 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 don't get tired when tweet. What the world, bro? They just asking silly stuff. But anyway, if you got y'all, let me know what y'all biggest issues with two K is right now, man. Because that's one of those things that I want to know. I know what my boy C Philly biggest issue with two K is. This right here. This right here. Look at that boy come down down. He said, man, missing excellent greens and take over. Let's check it out. My trays up, green bean, my break. What? <laughs> <laughs> Look at it come down. Imagine this coming down in in. Uh, he probably got on trays up, Green Bean. He walk off brick, bro. Hey, he probably got it on dog. Hey, he probably playing on pro too, just like I be playing on. I ain't gonna lie, to you. I be playing on pro. I ain't gonna lie to you, my boy. Cause that's what I play on. I, I, I'm grinding badges. I ain't trying to go for the. The, the best player in the world. Jay Easy said, bro, I had no idea so many people think that the interceptor badge is an issue in this game. Like, how hard is it to just not throw the ball to a covered player? So basically in a game where you can't steal the ball and can't miss shots, you want to be absolved from bad passes too. That's something that then my boy Justin Lamar, he chimed in on that and said, man, those people don't play the game. You can have you can have a player with 80 steal and a goal interceptor and still can't catch the pass it goes directly through and that's what i'm saying that's what i be seeing a lot bro like a lot of a lot of times when i see the game being played that's what i'm seeing like the ball goes straight through my hands even though i got hall of fame interceptor i'm right in front of it a lot of the times it goes straight through i just don't have the same issues i guess with the um with throwing bad passes than the, as, as other people. Like, it's just not hard to not throw the ball to somebody that's covered. But we had a couple people on my in the joint time in yesterday, man. We're going to look at... This is what this is the, this is the comment of the day, I guess. Look, look, this is what your boy Frank said. Fre uh, my bad, my bad. Frederick said, he said, sorry, but if you think interceptions are fine, then you just don't care about actual basketball. <laughs> okay, here we go about with the back. I, I'm, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. I played basketball on levels that other people haven't played on, so I'm gonna listen to that. But it, it's all good. It's all good. It's not realistic at all. Throwing the ball straight into somebody's face and them not catching it because you threw a bad pass is not realistic. Okay, all right. It's not realistic at all to sit in the zone and spam square uh, with the reaction time of an F1 of F1 speed. If you're not anywhere near the ball, I understand that. But come on, bro. Like like a lot of time, I, I, I'll go, I'm going there in a second. Uh, sure, fix the left right dribble too clearly. You but you're clearly biased uh, as a defensive first type of guy. Everybody should be defensive first, but that's it. That's cool. Let's take a step back and think about how real basketball is actually played. Again, I'm gonna take advice from somebody who hasn't played on the levels. That, I don't know. Maybe he's a professional basketball player, so I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I played on different different uh, on a higher level than so. So don't try to. In, in something of basketball acumen. Um, this is this is an offensive-minded sport. You don't see lockdown defenders considered stars unless they're also elite on offense. That's to you, but uh, whatever. Uh, but the opposite does occur. Uh, it's like you want the game where Tony Allen is the best player in the in the league, while James Harden is a scrub, offensive king, whether you like it or not. Well, guess what? If you throw the ball to somebody else on the other team, they're gonna catch it whether you like it or not. It's not about, it's not necessarily about having having the game being the way that you want it to. It's just what makes sense. You can't throw bad passes and expect them to go where you want them to go. If there's a player standing between you and the ball, like that's what happens. Why do you think that high schools and, and middle schools and all those and low level colleges run zones and they run traps and stuff like that. They run zones and traps because they try to force you a, a, a un, an inexperienced ball handling to throw the ball away. So if you throw the ball away, they get the steal 100% of the time, damn near, and then they're gonna go the other way. That's why they run those traps. That's why we run 3-2 zone and stuff like that. We want to get you to look like you can dribble the ball here. We trap you or half court traps and stuff like that. We wanna make you think that you're open, and then when you throw the ball, we're gonna pick it off. It's just like, and then like, I, I don't get that. Like what part of that don't y'all understand? We bait you into throwing these bad passes. You think it's open, and then you throw the bad pass and it gets stolen. That's what should happen 100% of the time. If you play against somebody like James Harden, like you think that James Harden is not an elite, elite uh, defender, 
James Harden is an above elite defender, especially if he's playing against you or I. If he plays against us, let me understand y'all something. I done been on course with guys that have played professional basketball and done stuff. I mean, you know, whether it be overseas, NBA, all that stuff. I done played against Torrey Kins. I done played against Ronaldo Bartman. I done played against Carlos Powell. That's one of my best friends. Like, I done played against these dudes, BJ Mackey, all these guys. Let me tell you what happens when they're on the court. These are guys that are that they that went to the next level and they were just regular players, right? But at South Carolina, they were they were all-time greats. When they are on the court, you can literally have somebody like Carlos could be guarding me on the wing, on the left wing, and I try to throw a pass to the to the bottom right square, to the opposite square, and he can get that pass while playing on ball defense against me. So somebody like James Harden, if you try to dribble against him in real life or something like that, like I said, he's above elite defender. That's why he's in the NBA. Let's make him look regular in the NBA. Every time you try to put the ball on the floor, James Harden is taking that. Every time you try to pass the ball, James Harden is taking that. Every time you do anything, he's taking that. These guys are elite defenders, but I don't understand, like I said, like if you pass to people that are open, I mean, that aren't open, that's a you issue. If you can't pass to people that aren't open, that's a you issue. It's just like what another guy was talking about. Like some of us work this much and that much and we don't care to be better. If you don't care to be better, then you don't deserve to, 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 like if you don't care to be better, then why do you care? I play Call of Duty. I don't care about getting better at Call of Duty. So I'm not trying, I'm not, that, not out there trying to impact the game. I like to rush, just like I said, I can't rush anymore. So right now, like I don't, I'm not trying to say where well, they need to change the maps and do stuff like this because the because I can't rush, I can't play how I want to. I have to adjust my game. They're like like then y'all love throwing that stuff out there. Well, people with jobs and stuff. Everybody that me and Brute plays with and in our group has jobs. Big Dog Man got job. Mills got a job. Uh, Big Mac work more hours. Gambit work more hours than anybody, and he out here sweating. I work 60, 70 hours a week. A lot of times I can't even get on the game. The only time I'm playing this game is when y'all see me streaming. That's it. That's two or three hours a day. I play the game two or three hours a day max. I work 60, 70 hours a week. I run two small businesses that got a lot. They get a lot of traffic. I dog on. I, I, I play other games, I hit the gym, y'all understand what I'm saying? I do all that stuff, man, so ain't none of that an excuse for you not being able to throw the ball to an open person. You telling me, but because, hey man, I work I work, I work, work 70 hours a week, man, I, I can't be passing the ball to the open man. That sounds so silly, man. You got to, like, come on, man, at what point, you already can't miss shots in the game, they fixed that for y'all, y'all was trash, I'm shooting 60, 75% last year, and, and y'all can't hit shots, so they made shooting so you can't, you literally can't miss if you're open. Now you literally, you, now they change the steal, so you literally cannot steal the ball. If, if so, it don't matter what you are, don't matter how bad you are, you literally cannot steal the ball from anybody. And you telling me that now you want in a game like that, you literally can go up on anybody in the paint and you can't, and you don't even got to think. And in a game like that, y'all want to be able to throw bad passes and they get through. Bro, stop, man. Stop. Y'all got to stop, man. Y'all got to, yeah, hold on, man. Let me get my regular face out for this, bro. Cause I can't stop, stop the jokes, bro. Like, 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 just like my boy, like, 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 uh, twins say, stop the jokes, man. You can't, you can't have it both ways, bro. I don't understand what y'all want. Like, you really want a game where you literally don't have to think. They gave y'all that last year. Y'all said it was the worst 2K. You could throw passes. You couldn't steal the ball. You could just run straight at the rim and just dunk the ball and do all of that stuff with last on last year's 2K. And y'all said it was the worst. So they gave y'all something that was a little bit different. And now y'all. Y'all still wanted to be what it was last year. Like we already had that game and nobody liked it. So while we sitting here trying to act like, like we want to nerf, of all things to nerf is interceptions and act like defense is not a key, a core part of the game. James Harden is an elite offensive player because he busted his ass to become an elite offensive player. But you want to be an elite offensive player just because the game won't give me the ability to play defense. Not because you're good at the game or because you're better or any of that. You want to be elite offensively because the game denies me the ability to play defense. Because I don't have the ability to play defense. Not because you have the ability to make me look like I don't play it, but because the game won't let me play defense. You literally want them to turn down all the defensive settings so I cannot play defense. And then that'll make it look like you're elite offensively. Boy, stop. Anyway, man, uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. I, I didn't want to make this video this long, man. I didn't mean to make it into a rant or nothing like that. But y'all cannot be serious with this stuff, man, bro. Stop, man. Stop. Just stop, man. Anyway, I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Till next time. It's the hardest working man on YouTube right now. About to go back to one of my other jobs. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time.
It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please.